You know something I don't understand about the United States education system? Like when they were setting it all up, a lot of it makes sense, right? You've got grades and they're numbered. And each year you graduate that grade and move up to one number higher. And just so it follows the years up until you're like 18. And then, you know, you can go on to do other stuff and they stop numbering them for some reason. But whatever, it's fine. It makes sense. So you start out with your first year, grade one, right? Nope. You start with kindergarten. Just this German word for child garden. As if that's where we grow them. Is that where, is that where babies come from? Do we actually get them from the child garden? And then just teach them that that's, I, I don't know. I don't know, I never had a baby. There's probably a logical explanation for this, like uh, German immigrants, uh, Frau whoever decided to call her childcare system the child garden and it just caught on and that's what they called it before they went to first grade, I don't know. But the way I imagine it is just, they were sitting down trying to figure it out and they were like, okay, so we'll have grades in one through 12, but let's start out with this special one where they go for half a day. We gotta call that something different. And then somebody's like, how about child garden? And they're like, well, that's a little bit of a weird and whimsical kind of name, but okay, maybe. We'll keep that in mind, but we'll keep thinking. And then someone was like, how about child garden, but in German? <laughs> and that's what they went with. And then after grade 12, if you go on to college, you just get a name for like who you are. You don't get a name for like the class that you're in. It's just, you're a freshman, which makes sense. You're a fresh man. I don't know why the fresh women are also called fresh men, but that makes sense. You're there, you're fresh to the place. It's, you know, it makes sense. And then you become a sophomore. I don't really know what that means. There's like a, an urban legend or a saying or something that it means wise fool. I don't know if that's true, it sounds made up. And then you become a junior in your third year? Like you're three-fourths of the way done, but you're a junior. That's not, I mean, junior should be a little, it should be more toward the beginning, right? And then you're a senior, which makes sense. So it all makes sense by the end, but it gets real weird there in the middle. And then if you go into graduate school or medical school or anything like that, they just, nobody knows what to call you. Then it's just, then you're just one of those people on Facebook who's still talking about tests and stuff when everybody else has like had a job or been looking for a job forever. And they're just like, man, how much longer are you gonna be in school? It's like you're just stuck in a time loop. What are you doing? What are you doing during my vlog? That's rude.